It's finally official. United Arab Emirates Abrahamic Family House is officially open to worshipers. Here's an article about it on the Khalij Times saying the Abrahamic Family House has welcomed its first worshipers to the mosque, the church, and the synagogue over the weekend. Located on Sadiat Island, Abu Dhabi, the Abrahamic Family House is now open to worshipers with access to the forum and guided tours available to visitors from March 1st, 2023. It goes on later in the article to say that you can practice your faith in any of the three houses there, the synagogue, the church, or the mosque, and you can also attend the other faith houses as a guest if you please. This of course looks to pave the way for the eventual one world religion that the end times last days prophecies tell us will come, and that one world worship and control will eventually be directed at the Antichrist and he will force that worship to the point of death eventually in the very last days. I've covered that quite a few times in relation to this. I'll leave links to those other videos in the description, but I want to go through each of these houses, the Judaism house, the Islam house, and the Catholic house, and I wanna look at what are they teaching on how we get to heaven. Now, first off, I'll say, of course, it's important for people to get along and to not be hating each other or killing each other. Of course, that's an obvious important fact that we should all be living. Jesus speaking in Matthew 5, says, but I say to you, love your enemies, bless those who curse you, do good to those who hate you, and pray for those who spitefully use you and persecute you. So this is a New Testament way of life that Jesus gave to us and is important for us to be implementing in our walk of faith as Christians and non-Christians. That's an important life aspect. In the Judaism house, well, it actually comes out that not all Jewish people actually believe in a actual heaven, but the ones that do believe that you get to heaven by doing good works. They're called mitzvahs, and a mitzvah is anything that you can do that benefits somebody. So this is just the mindset that they can do enough good works to work their way to heaven, reading the Torah, reading the oral Torah, all these different things. Of course, these are what they think they're getting to heaven through. But Isaiah 64, 6, a verse they adhere to says, for all of us have become like one who is unclean and all our righteous deeds are like a filthy garment and all of us wither like a leaf and our iniquities like the wind take us away. Now we'll look at the mosque, the Islam section of the Abrahamic family house, and how do the Muslims at the mosque believe that we get to heaven or what they call paradise. And they think that's by living religiously, asking Allah for forgiveness and showing good actions in their life. These good actions will be rewarded on the last day. Therefore, by obeying the rules that were set by Allah is the ultimate importance. So following what Allah had to say and doing good works is once again how the Muslims believe they can get to heaven. But we can look back to that verse in Isaiah and many other Old Testament writings and writings of that era in the Quran and the Old Testament, pointing to the fact that people are wicked and people sin and that is just the fallen nature of the world. No one could truly ever work their way up to be looked at in the eyes of a perfect God as being good and holy or perfect. There's no way a human being could ever meet those standards, which is again why we need a savior. And worth pointing out in the Quran in chapter 17, verse 111, it says, and say praise to Allah who has not taken a son and has had no partner in his dominion and has no need of a protector out of weakness and glorify him with great glorification. So here in this Quran verse, it says that God, or what Allah as they call him, has no son and doesn't need a partner. So why would that even be in the Quran written 600 years after the New Testament and all the stories of Jesus, the son of God in the region? Well, it sure sounds like just somebody decided to make up their own version and they didn't like the aspect of Jesus being the son of God, the one way to the father and added that in, which we will see is truly the only way to heaven. Now we also have a Catholic church or a Catholic center at this Abrahamic Family House Center. And while many Catholics do believe the gospel, it's a very slippery slope of living a lifestyle that really doesn't adhere to biblical principles or growing at all in intimacy with God. Pope Francis, the leader of the Catholic Church, has made many strange claims, many odd claims throughout the years, trying to be more inclusive, taking away the divinity of Jesus, the importance of following Jesus and Jesus alone, saying that atheists have ways to get to heaven and while it's important to create dialogue for say atheists we can't just come out and say like 
batter them because of course then they're not going to try to seek the truth that way but the absolute truth of salvation in jesus has to always be at the forefront and pope francis has kind of dodged this in many ways and also again like i mentioned there's many things done within the catholic church that are just not found in the bible or specifically prohibited praying to dead saints when they baptize they baptize with sprinkling water not full immersion for centuries they wouldn't even let the congregation read the bible only priests could i mean how crazy is that and the one that irritates me the most is when i see them talking about pope francis they call pope francis holy father and i would just ask i'd love to just ask any catholic what what do they think jesus would say if if any human being called the pope holy father in the presence of jesus just imagine what he would say i mean i cannot believe that they do that and that's just a short list with the many errors going on within the catholic church and it leads to living a lifestyle of following just religious ways and religious practices and thinking that going to mass on sunday is your relationship with god i mean they rarely encourage reading the bible the worship is nothing at all like what it would be in heaven none of the spiritual gifts are encouraged or implemented i it's just not a new testament style of christianity in really any way possible maybe it was for like a couple hundred years maybe a thousand years ago but things have changed drastically especially as now we have the ability to read the new testament ourselves and we can understand that wow there's a way deeper relationship that needs to be going on and that's not going on within a large 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 vast majority of the catholic churches jesus said in john 14 6 that he is the way the truth and the life no one comes to god the father except through him the life that Jesus lived and the prophecies that he fulfilled proves that he is the son of God, that he's divinity, that he's one with God. The prophecy absolutely proves it. And this is the key that the Jewish people and the Muslim people are looking for. I mean, the Jewish people and the Muslim people have faith in God. They're seeking to live a lifestyle in obedience to the uh, higher power greater than ourselves, which is why I focus many of my videos towards them, because it should be very easy for them once they see the truth that Jesus fulfilled these prophecies. The Bible is the original, the oldest, has all the old texts, the original ones, with the proven prophecies once again. And once the Jewish people and the Muslim people and any Catholics who are in their faith and they can seek these things of what the Bible truly says and that Jesus is the Messiah, they can see and find the key that they are missing and it's the key to everything. Jesus is the key that is missing in our culture's ways and he has to be at the forefront. Again, we should be getting along and encouraging peace in the Middle East is something that should be going on because we shouldn't be just warring and fighting and killing each other. It causes a lot of hurt in the world and it causes Christians to actually be the worst persecuted belief system on the entire face of the earth. But while the peace is going on and the gatherings are happening, the absolute truth, the most important truth, more important than anything else, more important than we're getting along and more important than we have the answers to this and that, or more important than we're, we're exposing those lies and we know who the liars are, we know this deception in the world, all these more important than all of that is that the only way to heaven and salvation and a life, a full life here on this earth is through Jesus Christ. And this verse in John 8, these few verses is just great in relation to <laughs> this Abrahamic family house center. And it's a conversation Jesus had with the Jewish people at the time. And it just really fits the scenario here. And that's John 8 verses 54 through 58. And it says, Jesus answered, if I honor myself, my honor is nothing. It is my father who honors me of whom you say that he is your God. Yet you have not known him, but I know him. And if I say I do not know him, I shall be a liar like you. But I do know him and keep his word. Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day, and he saw it and was glad. Then the Jews said to him, You are not yet fifty years old, and you have seen Abraham? Jesus said to them, Most assuredly I say to you, before Abraham was, I am. The key to the Abrahamic faith is the same thing just like Jesus said. Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day, and he saw it and was glad. Abraham saw the day that Jesus walked the earth. The Savior of the world, the Son of God, walked the earth the only way to heaven, and he was glad. And it was through knowing that Jesus Christ 
is the I am who existed before time began, exists now and forever will exist. This is the answer and this is what should be pushed into every conversation that's really going forth forever in every area. At the Abrahamic family house, in your workplace, at your home, in your relationships, in every area, this should be pushed in the forefront because it's the only way off this earth. It's the only way to full life now. It's the only way to God. And that's through Jesus Christ, the Savior, the Messiah, the Son of God. I want to encourage you to be praying more, pray in your daily lives more, and build up that conversation that you're always having with God all the time and dedicate time to where it's just you and God absolutely praying, no other distractions, not just when you wake up for a little bit or in the morning or throughout the day. Those are all good, but dedicated devotional time to just prayer to God and also pray that these revivals that are happening across the nation and uh, across the world to increase and to be sustained and yes, to increase on the college campuses and just to grow and spread. And this is what we need. This is what America needs. This is what the world needs. And that's a good thing to be praying for right now as it's blossoming in a great way, something that does not happen very often. And it should be encouraged and built up while we're experiencing it for it to be bigger. It's what we need. It's what the world needs. Let me know what you think in the comments below. There's a lot going on right now in a lot of different areas, but God is good. Thanks for watching and God bless.